We live. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, y'all. New Year. Look. <laughs> Let me get it right. My bad. It was a little low in the beginning. It's my first day back, man. Flat out. It's my first day back for the new year. Oh, man. Y'all. Okay. What happened? Go ahead and introduce us, honey. Uh, we are Mr. and Mrs. Mac. And this is the, this is, hold up. This is the Mr. and Mrs. Mac podcast brought to you by Urban Access Network and FNX Fit. Okay. You can use code FNX, T I R V, to get you 15. Percent off them supplements. And you can also use code Mrs. Mac 314 to get you 10% off all your lip bar purchases. Okay. You, get all your, you know, your lip glosses and your lipsticks. And, you know, I'm wearing this. What is this? Um, what you wearing? Oh, I think it's bad. Oh, let me hold on. Let me go. My bad. Bad. <laughs> Baddie. No, this Baddie. is. No, this is Boss Lady. Boss Lady. Boss okay. Lady. Boss Lady. Oh, shout out to Boss Lady. Uh, shout out the link out. Uh, the Lip Bar. Lip bar, lip bar .com. Uh you, you can use my code, Mrs. Mac314, to get 10% off. I was trying to see if they had any sales going on for y'all, but no, nah, they ain't got nothing going on right now. You had to use that discount. That's the sale. There you go. Bam. Nah, me. <laughs> hey, y'all. I am Wifey. Dang, you ain't said that we yet? still ain't said it. No. Nope. Oh, man. We rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, I gotta get back into it. And this is uh, who are you uh I'm Il Mac, aka uh, it's free, it's, it's cold outside. <laughs> that, that's all I gotta say. It ain't, that's it. It's, it's like 19 degrees freezing. in the loop. This girl said it feel like uh, somebody molested you out there, didn't it? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I said, God, we gotta go so deep like that. Mm, mm, oh my mm. god. It was cold out there Her heat must not work in her car Oh Jesus Something was wrong Yeah something wrong She must have been Using that stove Heat or something I said Lord That's the best thing We had to say Prayers out to you sister <laughs> I hope the situation Get better You so ignorant Straight up I know oh, I know the struggle Lord. Yeah the struggle Be real sometimes hey, the struggle be real No lie Flat up But what's been happening Baby what's going on Ain't nothing going on man You know what I'm saying A whole lot of gang shit You know what I'm saying Really I'm sorry, that was too. <laughs> it's not the. It's not the ill Mac showcase with King. Uh, yeah, Shout man. out to y'all. You know we did the uh, yearly wrap up. He invited me to do yearly wrap up. It was it was him. only a yearly wrap up for like the first thirty forty minutes, and then, well, then we got into we just, got into just the real topics, conversations. Yeah, we just got into the real topics. I ain't yeah. been up, man. Been working, working, yeah. working, preparing. You been off for it. Trying know. to do. I've been off for what? I don't know. It's just like you've been off forever. I've been off forever. I don't know. I've been going to work. <laughs> I'm just saying. I was off Friday. <laughs> that's it. Maybe that's forever. Yeah, that was that was it. Straight <laughs> okay, up. Bro. What's been up with you? Oh shit, nothing. Just you know, working. Shoot nothing. Shoot, shoot nothing. Sorry, we're gonna try to do this a whole lot better. Yeah, we had to say the raunchy this for. <laughs> but make sure, right. I'm just gonna say so. Y'all, if y'all want all that, come on over to Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, nothing, nothing. I mean, just you know, we in a new year. I don't know, just, just living, just trying to make sure. Just you know what I've been thinking about lately. What just you been making sure about? I, I gotta market more. I gotta get. I gotta keep on pushing. And I was talking to this girl. You know, it it does. Like when they say it takes money to make money, it really does. Yeah, we were talking about advertising fact. her um her company. And I'm like, it takes money. That's why a lot of businesses don't 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 go because yeah. You can have a great business, but if don't nobody know about your business, yeah, then you over with. Right, especially me. I provide a service. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get people with. to have this company. Yeah. Um, but I'm not going to – I've been very, very blessed with what I do have. I'm not going to ever take away from that. But i just been thinking, how can I uh, adv- How can I get more? Like, I, I reached out to social workers uh, the other day. i just been trying to do – like, I got to get back out there. I got to get, get out there. And get yeah. my name out there. I mean, your husband already told you this goes. Yeah, I mean, I know it costs. <laughs> yeah, you got, he got cost. all the things I need to do. Everything you know gonna everything. cost. You trying to find the stuff like, for the Jesus. lick? You gotta get out there. No, not for the lick. It's just I need the money to <laughs> shoot put into it. I understand that too. So yeah, but it's Flat just out. I'm out here just trying to figure out how to grow my business. That's all. Yeah, and the thought so of it better. is to see the thing is 
You just got to change the mind frame, right? Mm -hmm. It don't really cost money if you going to make money. Okay. Right? Absolutely makes sense. So okay, you figure, right. okay. Fair money don't make money. If I don't okay. make this, then I'm not going to make more money. Right. So, it's like, if I, I just going to pay this $100 to $150 for it. Some ads or whatever. Eventually, it's going to make me some more money. Eventually, okay. it's gonna, it might give me it's it might give me five leads. And I'm making what I put in in a day. Right. <laughs> With that first visit, I'm making. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Just got to switch it up. Yeah. Flat out. But you got to do it, though. If you don't do it, you ain't going to grow. Yeah. You're right. I, I, it takes work. You're right. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely right. And then you got to go through the figuring out what works. Mm -hmm. Because that might not work better than this work. Right, right, right. So that means you got to try to try to do different things. Yeah, like we he put my uh, website up the other day. Uh, your website up? Mm -mm. Okay, he put my website up the other day. Uh, if oh, you know what? Okay, so uh, with some keepers, you know, we are looking for clients. Uh, you yeah, can we're looking to, for clients. Go to my website, which is wisdomkeepersllc.com. Uh, you all can, it'll show you how to email me. It'll show you how to book an appointment so, you know, I can come out and do an assessment for somebody. Um, if you want to refer somebody to the website, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Um, but I just, we, come on, give me a try. Give me a shot. Give me a shot, and I sh promise you I will, I will um, prevail. Yeah. I'll show you what I'm working with. <laughs> yeah. But Preferably yeah. Uh, no split shifts. <laughs> you got to split. Keep, keep Preferably, he he does change this. The, the oh yeah, it's hard to do split shifts. We he just saying it because it's really hard to accommodate a split shift, and I do everything in my power to accommodate it. Like if you come with me, say you just want an hour here and I would I would one day or in the morning, I would evening. I can't help you with that. What I've done is made my um, I have a two hour minimum. And if somebody said they want two hours in the morning and two hours in the evening, that's hard to get somebody yeah, to just go, go out and just work for two, for two hours. hours. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, unless they got another job or something, but I have found that it's it's hard to fulfill that shift. I've been very, very blessed to do it with the clients that I have had. I, or I have, I'm just, I've been very, very blessed to do it. But it's hard as hell. <laughs> but, yeah, I would, you know, we want some full-time people, you know, but part-time as well. Um, so... Yeah, uh, what was the question of the week? All right, so let's move to the question of the week. The Straight question up. of the week, y'all. So this question of the week, actually, I saw this um, on IG. Who was it? Um, I don't know. Uh, cigar, cigars. Cigars. <laughs> he smokes cigars. Kevin Samuels? Nah, your friend that you went to school with. Uh, Meech. Meech. So Meech had put a question up. I don't know where the question had came from for Meech, but... He put a question up, and I'm like, oh, my God. This is like a com the great conversation piece. And he was like, yeah, it needs to be talked about. <laughs> so the question of the week was, should your spouse stop communicating with someone you fell out with? Let's talk, y'all. All right, let's get into it. Okay. So listen, I got to. Um, and gotta we're going to calm all this spouse shit down, too. So I don't want all y'all single people to like, be trying to dip like these niggas always talking about. But you know, the single people answer our questions, too. But I get what you're saying. Yeah. That, Let me go to the inbox all this first. all spouse shit down, cuz. But we're trying to. We're going to go to the. Uh... All right. So the first person responded was uh, What's Shaking with the. Oh, Bush Podcast. Uh, shout out to them. They said. Okay, wait. So she responded to the question because it was long. She said it really depends on your spouse. On your on your on your spouse fell out with the with the person, or I guess it really depends on why your spouse fell out with the person. Okay, okay. sorry. Um, I don't think it would be respectful to sneakily communicate with my spouse's enemy if they did something that crossed the boundary or was disrespectful. She's and then she said, um, "Of course, I'm going to take my husband's side." But if it's something petty or affecting them instead of the instead of a way where they need this person, I will talk to my spouse about the situation. Um, if it's something that can be resolved between the both of them, then if not, it has it is what it is. Okay. Okay. Shout out to you. you yeah. Shout saying? out to you. I, you know what? I, I didn't think y'all. Y'all went, went deep into this this question. A few people did. I just was on. 
Mm-hmm. I'll tell y'all my response later. Uh, but yeah, shout out to her. And then I got to go back to the question, y'all. Sorry, that was in my inbox. Uh, sorry. A lot of dead air right here, baby. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? All right. Then you had Hollywood Drain. He said, fit. He said, no. Just because you had an issue with someone doesn't mean they should. Mm. Okay, Hollywood. I don't know, Hollywood. Then you got uh, Lakia, underscore Lakia Rich. Shout out to Kiki. I know Kiki got deep. She said, it depends on who it is. And I'm not going to tell all, all that other information. Um, somebody that she doesn't uh, she doesn't really like, she said she never communicate with her. But but he better. So somebody that she don't communicate with, but he better communicate with him. It's, it's important. Okay. Then she goes to say, but if it's like a friend... In order for me to break it off, I gotta it gotta be serious. So he needs to choose me or else. <laughs> I fall out. Child okay. Out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then you got simply underscore key underscore shout out to Kiki. Key key. That's okay. another Kiki key. key. <laughs> she said yes. The f. <laughs> she said even if. Is they bald head ass? Oh my god! Oh no, nah. see, oh, we're not Kiara, finna, we're not finna do I am that. not see, doing this with you. You will not bring that ghetto oh, relationship over here in the name of Jesus. Look, I'm just reading. Even though I'm like, oh Jesus Christ, Kiara, what I'm she not. Said, even finna. if it's your mama, though. Yeah, even if it's bald headed ass mama, is what she said. Ooh, she She's spicy. Spice. Look, she real spicy. Kiki do a lot. <laughs> Kiki number two. I do love a lot. her though. We just, it's just we we got to oh, think of another name. Yeah, that's all I had responded. I think okay. we answered the um. It's the holidays, man. People, people is preoccupied. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what you think, honey? Uh. Okay. Do it depend on do like do it depend because they people got me think. I'm like, hold on, wait. Should I be feeling because I am like one side of here? It don't matter. Okay. If you pissed off that her ass wore the same dress you was gonna wear to the club that night. Uh huh. I'm not talking to her until you say it's good. <laughs> Straight up. Okay. Okay. You're right. Flat out. I'm right. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm loyal to the baby. I'm, yeah, I'm if right. If you ain't fucking with him, I ain't. If <laughs> you ain't fucking with her, I'm not definitely not fucking with and him. And then, look, somebody made a point today. This girl, and she was like, so, and then, like, if they start talking again, then I'll be like, hey, friend, how you doing? We friends again. If y'all friends again, we friends again. Oh, yeah. I'm for real. <laughs> Out. You understand It was just You know it's, We mad Hey we it, had to ride hey. I don't get You like, know what I'm saying I don't understand why that And I get like Okay like Kiki was saying That somebody That she didn't communicate with So but He still has to But she doesn't have to communicate I, I guess on In that situation Yeah That's more or less With a family member Right Right You know okay. what I'm saying But yeah If you friends Oh yeah you Shots fired I'm not I'm rolling oh, damn, you want With my hood fired. All day. Yeah, I mean, I know what to tell you. That, that's that's how it's supposed to go. If you ain't fucking with that motherfucker, I ain't fucking with that motherfucker. Yeah. But it's like, wifey had an auntie, right? <laughs> no Flat out, do. God rest her soul. Yeah, God rest her soul. She ended up being my nigga, but <laughs> first time I met her, uh, he was not. She was going hard. You know what I'm saying? She went hard, hard. And you know, I'm a real like vocal cat, so I had to hold my tongue this whole time. So I had to just fester it up and fester it up. That's when we first started dating. And then she ain't want to leave. <laughs> I didn't know. You know, okay, she was like, okay, like you do. Nah, cuz. Like you do Ariel, uh, little boyfriend. Right. That's what she was doing. He's a boy. <laughs> I'm a grown man. <laughs> you was you was in your 20s. You was a young 20-year-old man. Not twenty. Man, I was girl. in my late twenties. <laughs> it was yeah. The sugar do boy. Sugar, I was like twenty seven. My sugar boo. Yeah, cuz. <laughs> but she home. turned out to be. My you nigga. was not twenty. Like what? I was, how old was I? <laughs> you wasn't twenty seven. You right. You right. You right. Because how could I do that? And I'm twenty nine now. So I had to be what <laughs> like twenty one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You be cracking me up. Don't be mad at me because I'm blessed. Uh, hey man. I, okay, you very. My birthday very, started over. He told me it started over. He told me. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm riding. So but hey, yeah, I don't know. I man, don't know why, do why, why, why they fell out though. 
Yeah, he he wasn't. We had fell out for a minute, man. You he know was not like he really was, and she was be like, "Why is James acting like this?" Well, I wasn't really getting. This is the thing. I wasn't gonna get disrespectful. No, I he just didn't, didn't he, come he around. Didn't say nothing. He just when she was around, he wouldn't come around. Yeah, I was like, and no, I'd be I'm like, good. I. But that was my I freaking love sugar do. Yeah. So that she was, was the a real situation. One. I expect the, the when realness. She, yeah. Oh yeah, she kept it real a hundred percent of the time. But she went. Especially she had a drink in her hand. <laughs> yeah, she went real plus. Had a drink in the hand. Oh, yeah. She went hard. And you know, that real can get a little different. Yeah, I'm her baby. I'm just like one of her kids. (laughs) Yeah, but yeah. Turned out to be my nigga, though, man. We passed it up. Look at you. We passed it up. Yeah, we passed it up. (laughs) And we was, you know what I'm saying? We was kicking after that. Yeah, was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so that's more or less with family. Yeah. And I would never expect you to stop talking to her because... Cause you just ain't right. ain't feeling it right now. Right, right. But you know what's crazy? What people do that? So I ain't gonna go around my family because you ain't feeling them right now. Yes, so my, my mama. If somebody mama get on somebody like if if somebody like girlfriend or boyfriend don't like their mama, mm-hmm. they won't go around. No, oh, that's not right. Why not? Come on, like what? What did, the, what did your? If the level of disrespect your, is that much, well, if it's a disrespectful like you, level you know, of. Where I can't bring my husband if around, it's to but the I point still to where have you to communicate with that person. Blatantly, that mama don't fuck with me. So we can't, well, you know, right? You, yeah, but that's like Kiki said. Yeah, she you, don't want you right to start fucking with your mama. Right, but you still communicate because that's what you need to. But do. But I'm not finna fuck but with I don't your have mama. To, right, I, it has to be you go over there on Thanksgiving, that, you know, Christmas. I don't mess with her. Yeah, right. Dang. Because my then mama? I would I would fault you for not fucking with your mama yeah. because of me. Like I'm not not. Yeah. But it's like that, that be, with yeah, aunties. That was, that's not okay. Yeah, people don't go because of aunties, cousins. All but type if of stuff. it's a boyfriend, or it's like if it's if it's a, a husband's or a boyfriend's uh, or whatever girlfriend's friend, why are you still friends with that person though? That's a question. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. What? That's a. That, why you still? Why, why, why would, why would you I want still be, friend still be friends with your uh, ex friend? Right. Because that's my homegirl. That's my sister. Uh uh uh. No. You don't think so? No, that that, that that I mean You you riding, remember? I'm riding. So how don't you get, gonna, don't get it fucked up. So I'm that's riding. My nigga though. I'm trying to justify it for the good hearted ain't riding people. The people that some people it's hard for them to ride. Right, because Hollywood said nah. He he said nah, you you shouldn't. I mean you should communicate with him. He said you can still communicate with him. Yeah. Dang Hollywood. I don't know. Bro. That's why I told him I don't know, huh? Right Hollywood. Now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I respect your opinion all day. Oh, absolutely. But right right. you ride how you ride. Everybody ride different. Yeah. But uh <laughs> if somebody is together uh-huh. for a long time. Okay. Right? So let's we going back, right? Let's go. This was the friend we double dated with mm-hmm. when we was dating. Okay. She was in our wedding. Mm-hmm. She was at our baby shower. But I'm I don't fuck with her no more. She Oh, I don't miss sorry. God, yeah. Talk it. Oh, you are good. I don't mess she, with her no more. I know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She didn't pick the baby girl, baby girl up from school when you was late. It's her godmama too. Yeah, it's that's, her that's godmama no too. Okay. It was, you know, it's just, you know. And you talking about like 15 years in with this person being a, like, she's no longer your friend. She family now. Right. I'm gonna try to patch it up. There you go. See, if, that's it, what, if that's it's what, that deep. Right, and that's what Miss Miss Bush was saying. She gonna try to if it's something petty, like or you know, like this became your family, then she gonna try to patch it up. So yeah, okay, I see it. But if it ain't working, then it ain't working. Yeah, and then I, like it depends on the situation. <laughs> you have the hard time. With this. It depends on the situation too. Okay, and that's what she said. And that's why I'm. That's why I was thinking like, yeah. damn, am I wrong? Yeah. Nah. I mean, I guess it's just something to be thought about. But I'm riding though. I ain't going I'm just. I'm just. I'm nah, biased. let's let's go a level deeper. Okay. Let's talk about your spouse's mm-hmm. friend's ex mate. Ooh. Yeah, let's go there. Okay. Flat out. So my spouse's your friend. home girl. Yeah. Your home girl. No, put it so I can. So I I get it. Your okay, friend. so I get. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Your homeboy or like your homegirl. Kiara. Okay. Ski baby mama. I know. <laughs> yeah. I, but I'm that's 
Like the, this is the thing. She family. The French exactly. They got kids. Together. Like they got kids together. I think that's the defining mark. Okay. Because Ski had bro, Ski has broken up with other women, and we cut them off. Okay, you cut them off. We did. Are you <laughs> respectfully? <laughs> but yeah, you can't do that. But I don't, it ain't a petty cut off. Like I still double tap your Instagram picture. Okay, but that's you know, about it. That's about it. Okay, yeah, but it's different because Kiara has the girls. She has. She got my nieces. She got the nieces. I mean, my baby. They're my baby best friends. Yeah. Like I can't. I can never cut that off. And that's my girl. You know what people real, fail, fail to realize, and maybe it's a Patreon <laughs> topic. What? But I'm very like when I'm a friend, I'm a friend. Uh huh. And it's kind of like if I don't mess with you, I mess with you. But I'm a friend, and I know how to be a friend to people. Like I'm not a shady friend. I'm not a you know. Uh, my friends that I have, I've had, I've had these friends for years. Like I can go without months without talking to them, and we just we good. But I think people be afraid to like, like, um, Kiara in the instance when uh-huh. they broke up. I don't think she thought that we were gonna be friends still. Oh yeah, because I mean, like, you we know, we grew this relationship though. Like, why would I be? Why would I do hey, that look, when he when you break home? up with somebody? It's fuck everybody more. Anybody can get it with ten toes down, <laughs> head on the swivel. <laughs> All day, but like we, we, I'm a genuine friend. It's the though. fresh breakup though. Anybody can get it. Anybody. I don't know what you want. <laughs> you ain't text me. You ain't call me. Okay, I but guess you I on day side. <laughs> don't let me see you in, in traffic <laughs> on site, nigga. That's my friend. That's how my friend was too. But yeah, yeah. That's we don't a, know. We don't know who's who. At I'm like friend. I love like I'm like you straight. Like you got these babies. These, our kids always together. Like you, like oh, yeah. nah. That's nice now. Like I don't care. Even if he got a new girlfriend, and I'm friends with his new girlfriend. Like I probably like you more of a sister. Like she, I would have. That's what I was explaining yeah. to her. She's more of a sister. So, but yeah, I don't know. That'd be weird though. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. It's deep because even with a little bro ex girlfriend, you were still interacting with her. I was just double tapping her pictures. That's all. No, you wouldn't. I was commenting and everything. Yeah, you was commenting and everything. I was. You were sending messages. What? That she was pretty. I don't know what you I don't care what it you were saying You were still sending the message. message I feel like he was a little disloyal I had to come away from him Because now And see I don't really communicate with her So it was that was. I mean it fizzled out uh, Easy That it, fizzled on now I'm like But I still double out. tap every now and then Yeah But like now I'm growing a relationship with somebody else But we weren't growing a relationship So that's the difference You can't erase the relationship that somebody have with You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Just like your home that's girl ex, Your home girl ex-boyfriend Mm-hmm. Like if me and him hit it off, right? That's my nigga. <laughs> like damn, I gotta quit fucking with my guy. You know what I'm saying? I got the divorce. Friend. I gotta quit that's fucking my with friend, my guy. But that's my friend. No, that's my friend's friend or whatever boyfriend or whatever it is. That's not my friend. What? That's what I'm, I'm saying. That's. Yeah, he's not your friend, to, right? Right, you wouldn't have to cut a relationship, y'all. Didn't but if I was being loyal to you, oh, but what I'm saying, and you being you loyal to her, <laughs> the loyal train trickles but down. See, my loyalty, my I, my friends, I'm I'm loyal to my friends. I'm be friends. My husband, though, like that's a difference. Like I'm a different nigga though, because I I tell you, hey, look, call Sheila. I we I need I need to have a deep talk with him. <laughs> it's like call oh, Sheila. I'm gonna be like Sheila, look, hey. I got to be friends with Tremont. <laughs> Tremont, my nigga, you already know. We've been knowing each other for like 20 years oh, now. Oh, Lord. I, I'm so unfortunate about the incident that you're going through, but I don't want to do this behind your back. <laughs> Tremont is my nigga. <laughs> ain't going to be my nigga too. we don't get no bigger. Flat out. And if she say, uh-uh, you got to quit fucking with that nigga, I'm going to quit fucking with him. If my friend say that? Yeah, you gotta be loyal to. I got. I ain't gonna. I ain't just gonna call attention between y'all. Yeah, you know what? Because that's a whew, sticky situation. This question has been asked us by a friend. What if they get another? What if they get another boyfriend? Like, will we still hang out with them and the other? See, person? that's where it go. I can't do. All I'm that. sorry. I don't know. What, no, that'd be so awkward. The pro, the thing about that is, it wouldn't be right. Like, I would not be able to enjoy myself. I wouldn't like. I don't. Another question. Another thing. I'm not, you know what, you, you can't mix friends all the time. You just can't mix them all the time. So that would be a friendship that I wouldn't mix. I wouldn't mix those two. I ain't going to okay, lie to you. Okay, talk to the hell up. Commercial break. <laughs>
Yeah, that would be okay. a, a, a friendship I wouldn't. Uh, f- yeah, I wouldn't mix. Talk about what you mean by mixing friends. What? 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 How should you not mix friends okay. for the people? Well, you know, you have friends that, um, like, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I might have. I'm gonna do my my thing. Okay, I might have a friend that's really, you know. She gets down. She ratchets. She, you okay. know, want to screw everybody's right. man. She she's a, you know, she's a thought. Watch that glass. And Don't then glass, I no. might have these married friends that, you know, uh-huh. um, that are together. They, they're they working on, you know, they all about. Move the glass up. You know, so yeah. scared about me moving and dropping. They all, you know, they together, whatever. Yeah. Then, you know, I might have this one little you know, antisocial friend that uh-huh. don't like nobody but me. What okay. I'm bringing them friends around each other for? You might want to have a gathering. If I have a gathering, that's fine. But I'm not. We ain't going on. Va- I don't think I would go on vacation. I would. I don't like to do the whole separate room thing. I gotta go sit in here with you because you don't like this person, and you don't like me being friend. I don't, I don't have to do that. Okay. If I'm gonna invite couples, I'm gonna invite couples. If I'm gonna invite, if I'm gonna turn it with my ratchet friend, I'm gonna turn it with my ratchet friend. Probably by myself. I don't have no ratchet friends. But, but then, how you know, how you supposed to have something though? I don't know. It's hard. I just I don't know if I would invite. I don't know. That's 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 sticky too. But I do you just feel don't. like you need to leave that friend with that mindset? Yeah, that's a thing too. Yeah, and I had I've had. I, mean, I wouldn't say leave him. I would but just, just. I'm gonna talk to you like I'm right. on a different. Like I'm on this Mary. We road we do now. lunch. Yeah, all this. Yeah, we we'll do lunch. My, I mess with my friend. Yeah, we do lunch. Yeah, that's why huh? I said like I would Thursday? go. I go turn up with my friend. By myself. Yeah. I don't have to necessarily have, like, yeah, like I, I said, if I got couple couples off. things going on, I'm not inviting my ratchet friend. I'm just yeah. not. I'm going to keep my friend if they're loyal. If I got. But if they're not. Yeah. If they're not built for every setting, then, yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with that. You got to you gotta take them on their own I've adventure. always said. I've always said that. I just don't. I mean. Yeah. But, yeah. So. Mm, yep. Yeah, I'm not mixing friends. So. That's different, huh? Uh, If <laughs> your spouse just- fall out with a friend, you got to ride. You better ride. <laughs> no. You better ride. Hollywood ain't riding. Hollywood so, ain't riding. If you see Hollywood, you get with Hollywood. <laughs> no, that nigga is not riding. He's still gonna be friends he with Shaquisha <laughs> because she got that fire fried chicken. <laughs> but all right, um, you can still be friends with your spouse's ex. <laughs> Long as they have kids. Look, there, there you go. Yeah, long or if as you they get have permission kids. from your spouse's friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to get you know at least not permission. I would say just let it be known. Yeah, hey, we can be so friends. So they know you won't do it behind their back. Yeah. I feel like that's very respectful. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. But don't be mad if their friend like start acting funny with your with your queen because that happened too. Yeah. Dang, then you lose your friend. Nah. I mean, like I said, she just need to keep it real and say, nah, don't try to be the bigger person if you really don't want me to fuck with this nigga still. Because he going to come around. But like, you know what, James? I mean, I don't really think you need to fuck with him. <laughs> I be like, you know what, Queen? You right. <laughs> fuck that nigga. That's messed up, man. You fuck ain't, you ain't, no, you ain't loyal at all. <laughs> okay, I don't know this nigga. So now I know he this nigga became your, your friend. friend. So now he done became your friend. Yeah. What if we meet a couple together? And we've been friends with these that couple for like years. That's what I'm talking. It's the same years. thing as uh, your friend having a man. That's the same thing. No, nah, you. But if uh, I so think the longevity of it matters. Okay, so we met this couple together, same time. Okay, we became great friends with this couple. They get divorced. Uh huh. That's your like. That's your like. That's your dog. Oh, uh, if you fall out with his wife. No, if they break up. Yeah, you. If they break up, yeah, what? and she tell you, oh, that's my friend. Right, that's what I'm that's saying. Both of our You're friends, friends with now. His wife now. Right. Yeah. So, what do you do in that instance? I don't got shit to do with that. <laughs> that nigga that's was, still your friend, huh? Right, that nigga wasn't with me when he was busting that whole down. Oh my god! So that's still your friend, and I can still be friends with her. Yeah. I don't think that's disloyal at all. Yeah, nah. they just not friends. And now that's a couple I would probably not bring together. I'm not. What you mean? I wouldn't mix them. They didn't got divorced. They don't want to be around each other no more. <laughs> we have a gathering. I can't bring. I can't invite him. Uh, if he's he my homeboy, she got me fucked up. He coming to the Super Bowl party, <laughs> so she better not bring her. She ass. can't come because she can't bring her new boyfriend. That's messed up. That's so bad. No, no. Nah, all that means is that well, 
she just needs to be put a big girl panties on to come through. And just come on over while he's here too with his girlfriend. Dang, yeah, that's hard. I mean, I would tell him that his baby mama coming. I mean, you yeah. know, I would be like, hey, your ex wife's going to be here, bro. And mm-hmm. he, he, I mean, you know, depending on how niggas operate off how fine they new chick is. <laughs> so if they new chick is drop dead gorgeous, they don't care, huh? he going to be like, I don't give a fuck. I'm still bringing my bitch. <laughs> Straight up But if she just thick And she don't really look like that If she don't look better than the ex Then the nigga gonna be like Oh I wasn't gonna bring nobody no way bro <laughs> you know? <laughs> you <know? laughs> He what? ain't gonna bring it Y'all huh? ain't nothing That is not okay <laughs> No we are something We are men And y'all just need to understand this That is not okay But yeah that's how we operate It ain't okay Yeah so if, that nigga, if she look better than the wife The ex-wife Nigga, nigga I don't give a fuck Nigga I'm bringing my sh- Hey, this, do I, we? I don't. Do women think like that? Do we be like, yeah, hell yeah, he, he, we, we ain't sexy. You was boy. not finna bring no, <laughs> uh, no butt ugly nigga. He, he buff out here. Oh yeah, so, yeah, I'm bringing him to your to your uh, no, I'm not. daughter birthday I'm party not. at your at your baby daddy house I ain't or your ex husband house. You're not gonna do it. <laughs> You're not gonna bring him to the skating event. Look, is it? Really, <laughs> a little birdie. Sorry, I just. Yeah, I just but if that nigga was Idris Listen. Elba, uh-huh. oh he coming? Yeah, uh, see, that's I'm what I'm saying. saying. That, see, Listen. yeah, is it okay that I look at somebody? This is off topic. I looked at somebody they, t- today, and they said they was married. And I'm like, damn, it's somebody out here for everybody. You mentioned the butt ugly husband, and I'm like, dang, it's really somebody out here for everybody. Yeah, I mean, somebody. Hey, it is. No, I'm not saying I'm the sexiest thing alive. But I think I am, but you know, flat out. But I know, like, hmm, everything. Like, and that's the thing. Shout out to the Richards. They did a live last night, and they was going in. Oh, yeah. Uh, whoever was in Kiki DM. They got me fucked up. No. Yeah. And you, feel, you know what I'm saying? Do, hey, don't make us. Mouth. Do not make us follow up, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She had, to, I had to check y'all ass yesterday on the live, Jesus, dog. You know what I'm saying? Not playing. I'm like, Don't ooh. make me follow up, nigga. I'm like, it's real Max, spicy. Max coming in strong. <laughs> we you coming feel me? hot. <laughs> yeah, dog. Shit. I said, boy, this is this. What the hell didn't happen? I don't know. Go look at that live if you still look. <laughs> but yeah, but shout yeah out they to was them. going in. Shout out to them, man. They was just spitting them gems, man. Like yeah, everything ain't for everybody, and it ain't. And, and what what it makes whatever you gotta do what makes you happy. And people don't like my damn path or our path ain't the same as nobody else's path. That's when they say like relationships. Like my relationship ain't your relationship. What works for you works for you. Right. Like you you can't you can't do it. Every, I mean, my path ain't yours. Exactly. So the problem, the thing is, right? Kay. Just like we was talking to Ski on the yearly wrap up about him washing his own clothes. Mm-hmm. He want them a certain way, mm-hmm. and Boo, not gonna, you know, she don't want to wash them, and he's okay with her not washing them. Right. That's fine. That works for them. But I, I feel like I wouldn't wash that shit either if you was like that because. Are you not finna blame nothing that's wrong with your clothes on yeah. me? Yeah, yep. With people that's too particular, yeah. you just really need to let them do it they self. Do you do what you do? You're right. Because if it's fucked up, they, they gonna, gonna come. Blame you. Whew, they gonna come at you hard. Mm-hmm. So it's like you know what, fam, you can have that. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I ain't got to do it. Don't worry about it. Right. <laughs> Flat out. But like I said, for me, that's not the case. Like I don't give a damn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Ain't watching this yeah, I'm not. I'm not. It's just. It's just we talked about this. Yeah, that's just one of the benefits. <laughs> but it's the same thing. Yeah. And, yeah, um, you're right. Yeah, like people just. Uh, it, what works for you works for you. What yeah. does not work for you? They were talking about being uh, entrepreneurs, baby. When I tell you, somebody, everybody, everybody asks, us, "How's it going?" It's going. I would never. It's going great. Do I wish it was going better? Absolutely. It's hard as hell. Oh, it's hard. When I say being, you're responsible for everything. You got to figure out how you gonna make it. Like I said, I got, I'm trying to figure out ways to advertise. I'm gonna have to spend some money. Like I have to figure that out. Like I gotta cover these shifts when nobody cover them no more. Yeah. Even though I'm rolling up three hours of sleep, the I gotta is, do that. Like it's your responsibility. The thing is, it's a lot easier for her because I already know what it entails. Yeah. So when somebody call off, I'll be like, well, shit, it's a, it's a holiday. You should have already knew that. How you know? How you know? How you know? This is- <laughs> because I know people. It's just, all you got to do is know people. Like, they it, they people. They and still I've people. And I've never had people come. See, the holidays have been great. Yeah. I ain't never had nobody call the other day before the whole holiday week. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's. I mean, it's, it is what it is. But you have to be there. I mean, and it ain't for everybody. 
Yeah. It definitely ain't for the weak at heart at all. Like if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it and you gotta learn how to like I be I be uh questioning my like my grind. I'm like, am I grinding hard enough? Like some weeks I'd be like, Okay, I ain't did nothing. Like I, I am I grinding hard enough? Because they say if you gonna if you want it, you're gonna grind for it. Yeah. And I do question that sometimes. I be like, damn, okay, am I grinding hard enough? Because it takes work. Like you yeah. gotta constantly do stuff. So. Yeah, but if you think of it right. If you think of it as a bunch of wheels, mm-hmm. right? So you know how a mechanical machine might work with the wheels turning, mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying? They got the little grooves that go in the wheel that turn this wheel that turn that wheel yes. that turn that wheel uh-huh. that turn that wheel. That's how a business works, right? Oh, yeah. So you you have your clients that might be your big wheel, mm-hmm. but you need these other small wheels in order to keep getting clients. Yeah. Right? Yep, I need all this to work right. together. So it's like... You got to figure out where the grind needs to be at that moment. Because mm-hmm. I need the grind harder now. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. you're right. So the grind don't need to be in word of mouth right now. The grind needs to be in some type of internet marketing and social media marketing or mm-hmm. something that's going to put you where these people are looking at. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you got to think. Where Where are the people who need help yeah. looking? Because <clears throat> nine times out of ten, I'm asking y'all to refer people, but I, it ain't probably nobody who... Need help listening to this podcast right now, right? I mean, it might be, but I I'm mean, just, it might be, but it nine it nine times out of ten, it probably ain't. Like our our age group ain't even <laughs> the elderly, but I'm hoping to get somebody to refer somebody, yeah. your grandma or your uncle or your auntie, something you know. Yeah, but, I mean, you never know who go to what function and they'd be like, "Yo, you know, my people need some help." They be like, "You know podcast, what? Yeah. yeah." So I mean, you never <laughs> count out, you but, never count out your sources that you automatically got. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. But I just yeah, yeah, I need to put it other places. Like where are the where, like where's where's somebody looking at? That's why we got the website and stuff. And yeah, and it's a learning process, man. Yeah, it it's is. Everything ain't gonna go right either. But Why it not? ain't for everybody. Like Kiki them says, some people don't mind working, like jobs. Like people don't mind working a job. They don't want. They don't. But see, it. that's the thing. You gotta people that don't have purpose behind what they're doing won't understand that. Yeah. Right. So it's like you didn't start. Your company because you just wanted to start a company. No, right. You started it because you didn't like the care that people was getting. Yeah, absolutely. I had a right. reason behind. So I had it's a, a reason, right? But that reason drives you. Yeah. If somebody starts a company without a reason, and they're not gonna have a drive. Mm, okay. So it's not gonna succeed. Yeah. So it's like it gotta, it gotta match up. Yeah. Flat out. And everybody ain't found their purpose in life either. Some people are living their purpose. Some people absolutely are. Like, trust but, me, it's people that love dry forklifts out here. You say it all the time. It's people that love making love food. Like yep. you meet them. Yep. People that like you go to a random they- drive through and this this lady is nice as hell. Yeah. She loves she interacting loves with these people and feeding y'all this food. Right. <laughs> yeah. She loves customer service. Yep. Like she loves it. Yeah. Flat out. And she living in her apartment. She probably happier than some people that's probably. Got they got yeah. a, a billion companies making yeah making yeah. nine hundred thousand a year yeah at the top at, in the head office <laughs> them niggas is miserable and I feel like to be on a job for a long time you gotta like well yeah you gotta like it you gotta like it to be yeah, at a job like for twenty years it's something about it you thirty like. years it's something more than the pay right because people will leave a job you might for even pay. like the you even might like the the uh, your fellow and your fellow uh, staff you I mean you probably like. Y'all done built the relationship. I'm leaving them niggas too. Sorry, niggas. I catch you niggas at the bar. Hit me up on Friendsgiving. <laughs> Friendsgiving. Weak ass niggas. I'm out. All right. All right. What else? But I got yeah, what there? else we got, man? Um. Oh, Omicron. 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 How you say it? Omarion. Omarion. Yeah. Omicron. You see, that's what happened. Omicron. Uh, okay, so this is. A, so you know that the see they say it's out here, y'all. Now I have a lot of people are getting sick. Warning. So y'all be careful. Like this, this, Jesus. Y'all be people think it ain't, and it's happening around these holidays. Like people really gathering around. Yeah, people gathering. Like big, big gatherings. Not like six, seven yeah. people. Y'all gathering 20, 20, 20, 30 people out here having parties. Like it's real out here, and that's why y'all getting sick. But um, the quarantine time. What's the quarantine First of time? all, we went from 14 when COVID first hit, right? Uh-huh. Right. 14 days. I know y'all didn't y'all ain't know much about 14. it. 14 days. Yeah, we was in my quarantine about 14 time. Hoes, 14 years of corn, That's 14 not. chicken. <laughs> you even talk about a lot of 14. 14 days. Then, maybe like 
the beginning of 2021. Uh-huh. We can go 10 days. You ain't got you only got a quarantine for 10 days. Cuz I got covid what back in December of 2020, yes. And then they were telling me I only need to quarantine for 10 days. But what if I'm still sick at day 11? They ain't care. Now, with this variant that say that's taking people out worse than any other variant that we out, we have out here, you only got a quarantine for five days. Yeah. You know, I was, I don't get it. Like, come on. Like, what You're not going to get it until they come out with the documentary about 10 years from now to tell you this, this whole scheme of this shit. Like, if I'm symptomatic. But trust me, it's, a, it's a money scheme. and For 10 days. It's these companies losing this money is what it is. It's a money scheme. These companies need people to come everybody back to work. Ain't, everybody ain't losing. Somebody winning. You know, first, first of all, I heard somebody say, I, I, I have a friend that said, she tested positive at work. Uh-huh. And they told her to finish it, put a mask on. Damn, straight up. What? She was asymptomatic. She tested positive. She just tested positive. No symptoms, no nothing. Put your N95 on, you'll be fine. Where mm. that work at? Uh, so we said it's these companies that's losing this money because they ain't got no people to work for them. They can't, they oh, can't yeah, take they, no. Oh, yeah, they definitely finessing the game. But I'm talking about them not the people that I look for to win. These companies? The people that's winning, you don't even know. Uh, like I said, you won't know until the doc comes out a few years from now. And, um. A bit. Sorry. They, uh, you know, but how they put out all the to five days. Yeah, I'll be careful out right here. 14 to five days. I just, whoo, Jesus. A lot of people don't really get the, they like, a lot of people's worst day is like the fifth or the sixth. Day five, day. right. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be asymptomatic until like day four. Right. Like, when the girls had it, like, Ariana's bad day didn't come to like the, right the five, fifth or sixth mm-hmm. day. Yep. Straight she up. She was fine the first like, day. Like, her middle three days was like her worst days. Yep. Yep. So I don't so know, man. I don't know how this five day stuff going. I feel I think it's these companies. Um, you wanted to talk about the truck driver. Oh uh, man, okay. Look, it was a truck driver, and um, damn, was it in Colorado? I, I saw this, but I didn't. I think it was Colorado. Hold up. I how guess. many years? Like, what were they trying to get this man? Was it a hundred years? They were trying to give him one hundred and ten years. A hundred? That's, that's not even. That's not even possible. I was trying to give him 110 years because this is important, you know, because I'm a truck driver and a lot of truck drivers listen, I think. That's impossible. Like, what the heck? Yeah. Why do they do that? Get people sentences they know they can't even live out. I don't know. I ain't even say, uh, I ain't say it on this one. Let me go to another one. But yeah, truck <clears> driver, <throat> he killed four people in an accident. In Colorado, you're right. Okay, in Colorado. Mm-hmm. So, all the truck drivers was like, all right, bet. We ain't coming back to Colorado. Oh, they did do a Yeah, um, they did a protest. Oh, they yeah. They pulled up on the side of the highway, and okay. they weren't moving. I saw that. Oh, my God. Yeah, and it was a lot of truck drivers. To where the point to the point to where truck drivers was going out there just to sit in traffic and not move. Wow. Because the census was, it's, it's totally, un, I mean, wh- right. so what? And the saying, um, I don't know really what the saying is, but. This truck driver killed four people, and he got 110 years off the rip. But God. it was announced that his sentence was reduced to 10 years. Oh, okay. But it's like, why well, his sentence has had to be reduced? You think because— So either it was at worst— Okay, for one, they reduced the sentence, mm-hmm. which means he couldn't have been asleep. Okay, that's what I was going to ask you. What happened? Did he go to, I mean, that's what I was trying to read. What happened? Yeah, like, he Jesus couldn't. Have, he, could, he couldn't have been asleep. Ugh. Like, I think they might have tried to be, they might have been trying to give him four counts of uh, a murder. Jesus Christ. Instead of giving him, like, an involuntary manslaughter. Okay, which is what that is. Which might be, the. I think the least is, like, 10 to 15 mm, on mm, that. Mm. But I don't know. But, yeah, it's like. Once they changed it, he had it wasn't him. It had to be adverse rain conditions, or it was probably snow, mm-hmm. and he probably was sliding in the snow. Anything can happen. And you, yeah, when you look when you, when you driving in the regular car in the snow, yeah. If that motherfucker ready to glide, you gonna glide. Ain't nothing you ain't nothing you gonna do that's gonna stop this thing from gliding. That damn. If it's ready to go, it's gonna go. 
That cards can be a, it can be a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> right. Wow. Now we're gonna get that man 110 years. Right. So uh You know he was like he was But shout out to the people that changed the uh, the rules. The he was what? He was a uh, immigrant. He was uh Mexican or something. There's a lot of immigrants that drive, man. Think they did that because he was an immigrant? They be smelling like Chinese food and everything. James. I'm Not sorry. necessary. I'm sorry. <laughs> Flat out, nigga, nigga started using them lovely love showers. Cuban immigrant, wow. Yeah, Damn. but yeah, that was too too much time, man. That was a lot. That was that would be so sad. That mean truck. You don't even want to be a truck driver no more. Like we are gonna get somebody attention like that. Like, no, nah, why if you, would you I? You kill somebody, you going to jail. Oh Jesus, it's so scary. And I don't even know how that. I don't even know how that can happen. If you can, if you kill somebody, if you kill somebody, you go to jail unless you fall asleep. If you're not asleep. People do stupid stuff when you in the truck. Mm-hmm. Like people do stupid stuff when you in the car. Yeah, they be so, trying to race you on the on the. Uh, oh yeah, road. they do. Oh yeah, you have people that that uh, that uh, go slow and on have purpose. you go around them. Uh huh. And then once you almost around them, they speed up. The assholes. Oh, you so ass- basically you you are getting the left lane and you actually passing this person up. Uh huh. And then once you almost pass them up, they will speed up Just, and get in front of you. Y'all ain't right. And they keep doing it for miles. <laughs> that is not okay. Hey, you have some, you, you had somebody do like, like that before? Yeah, I had people for miles? Do me like that? No, nah, but yeah, for miles, yeah. What? Not a lot of miles. It's probably about twenty miles. You should have pulled up. Look, uh, I mean, you still can't kill. Them. I'm not saying yeah. kill nobody because. They but when you meet them old boys on that road, them road rages, oh, uh, they ain't gonna play with you. Oh God! Once you do them like that about twice, uh-huh. the third time, uh-huh. once they almost pass you, <laughs> they just gonna cut that blink on and come over on your ass. Oh Jesus! And you gonna hit that brake? Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Yeah, you gonna never, hit that brake? I would day. never play with an eighteen wheeler ever in life. I wouldn't. I would never. Oh, uh, they get. Eaten. I don't want to be on the side of them. I, that's a that's a weapon. Mm-mm. Especially them gas ones. Shout out to my drivers out there. Hammer, <laughs> hammer down. All right, what were we talking about? Pushing your narrative on other people. Uh, uh, basically, we're talking about what, uh, oh, we're talking about what Kiki yeah, well, yeah, what Mike and Kiki yeah. talked about because what they're, yeah, I got that's you. a trending topic because that's, I said that hell is a go, then, yeah, we've been it, talking it, about uh, that. yeah, yeah, basically the same thing. Like, everybody, I feel like people need to find their purpose and be happy and do what makes you happy, but it's hard to do if I, if people don't know their purpose. That's why I said people, everybody haven't found their purpose. I get it. Right, so if you, if you don't know your purpose, that means you think this other person's purpose is your purpose, mm. or this other couple purpose is your purpose. Right, right. So no. we need to we need to be going here. No, and it's like, nah, you're not ready for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And then I think it's a a disconnect because people don't know how to be happy for the next man no more. You know what I'm saying? Message. Uh, you need a message. Message. <laughs> you gotta be using my soundness to both podcasts. Yeah, but I'm saying oh, like it's, it's, it's true. You yeah. People don't know how to be happy. I don't understand that. I just don't get it. Yeah. Like it's enough for yeah, believe it or not, it's enough money, it's enough every it's enough love, it's enough everything I have for everybody. It's enough. My thing is enough. Everything exactly. It's enough. And everything my road is my road. Like my yeah, road. My road ain't my your road. road. My thing is, Whew. the more people that's in my support circle mm-hmm. that make it to where they're going, mm-hmm. it gets me closer to where I'm going. Yep. Don't you understand that? You know what I'm saying? What is it? Each one, teach one, teach one. Yeah. Teach, teach one, reach one. Teach one, reach one. I don't know. There you go. Lick it before you stick it, too. Oh. <laughs> James. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. Like, you, you, it's so hard for people to be happy for other people's yeah. W's, man. I don't get it. I love seeing people win. Yeah, especially one of my friends. Like, my friend? Yeah, like somebody I know worked for it. Like, sh- I know. I saw them hustle. Like I know, like oh my god, and like I'm not doing nothing but come on, my friend. Right. Yeah. People don't do it. Do you? Th- I, uh, like nigga, I don't give a damn. You got your PPP loan and you ain't got you a Lambo. Yeah, that's yeah. 
But when I see Marvin with one, ah, yeah, I'm like, oh, that, dog. He, that, that man grinds. You winning, my oh, nigga. Yeah. Okay, he grinds. You know what I'm saying? He grinds. He you deserve that. His, yep, absolutely have seen him do it. I can't wait till he pull up in the private jet. He's, that's probably it's coming. coming. <laughs> you know it is. It's coming. <laughs> I'm ready for Shout it. Shout out to my cousin. My cousin Marvin, he is a financial advisor. And I mean, like, he is like a goat, like, right now. He is the boy. He's very passionate about people, uh, people in their finances, trying to help people. You know, become uh, financial uh, literate and things like that. Like, yeah, become your own bank. Yes, become your own bank. He's got a book out. Um, become your own bank. Um, shout out to Marvin. It's at Marvin Mitchell. No, yeah, at Marvin Mitchell. No, at Marvin Mitchell. Mitchell official on IG. Yeah, man. Yeah, I should look at him. He <laughs> and he be man. speaking to people and everything. Hey, that man deserves everything he out here getting. Yeah, he out here. He grinding. He don't play no game. He's not. He don't play no game. Let Mike Marvin. He's very very smart. Yeah. That's another. He's very smart. But uh, yeah, man, that's what I meant by that, man. You just gotta like, hey, just do you. Yeah, just do you. Yep. And like, if you have negative comments, keep it to your damn self. What you do is <laughs> you keep that negative comment, right? You mind your own business. You keep that negative comment. Look, I'm gonna tell you how you do it. Okay, go ahead and you tell me. You keep that negative comment, right? Okay. And you go in the bathroom and you turn the light on, <laughs> right? And you go and you look in the mirror. And you think about what's wrong with your ugly ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All I right. told you. You niggas that was in Kiki DM, you don't want me to pull up. <laughs> what was Nigga, wrong? we gonna follow up, cuz. I don't understand. Like, why does People my don't wife, mind their business, cuz. That's what it is. Just mind your business. Just mind your business. That's all. Straight up. It's okay. No, it costs you nothing me. to do that. Once comments start getting like that, I ain't even reading comments no more. Yeah, he said it all the time. Yeah, I, I ain't. Mm, Not at all. I mean, but they funny to me. I can take it. He like, can. I grew up in a very joning environment, <laughs> so I can take a lot of jokes. Like, some of the worst jokes people could probably say to me, like, I would laugh. Like you laugh at every day. It's funny thing. because, <laughs> nigga, you don't even know me, fam. Yeah. But it's funny that you think that about me. Yeah. But... Like I said, everybody ain't the same. Some people be like, hold up. And then I think the repetitiveness of it, mm-hmm. like when somebody keeps saying the same shit and different people keep saying the same shit, uh-huh. it's like, fam, look. <laughs> so, yeah. They did a check made up on y'all ass. Check Go out. to the Richest Vlogs and uh, subscribe. Hit, hit the bell. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, see if you uh, see if some of that relate to you because some of you niggas need to hear that. Yeah. Flat out. But uh, we... Look- uh, what you got? Look, old Betty White died, y'all, too. The Golden Girls. Oh, man. R.I.P. Betty. Betty White. Betty was 99. Which That's one was Betty? Betty was a, what was her name? Shit. Um, I know the gang oh niggas is, my is God. dragging my black ass Oh, right now. my God. Like, man, Betty you don't know who fuck Betty is. Thank God. My favorite was Sophia, so I. <laughs> Your favorite was Sophia. Sophia, the mama. I just need, oh let, let me see God. the whole lineup with the names. Let me see. I don't know the none Golden of these girls. old women. Oh, my God. So now Netflix, y'all know Netflix got a. Um, they got the. Uh, okay, you got Blant. That was hold up, let, uh, let me see. You already know who they are. Okay, here you go. <laughs> I need to see them with their names. You see, underneath there. Okay. Blanche was the whore. Okay. Uh huh. Sophia was the mom. Yeah, I remember. Okay, Sophia was the mom. Was the okay. other one? Uh, Dorothy. Dorothy, that was Sophia's mama. <laughs> what? I mean, that was Sophia's daughter. Dorothy, right. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Rose. And Rose, that's who uh Betty, Betty White. White was. Oh man. <laughs> she was a little dingy, you know. Yeah, not like, old she Rose. was so sweet. But she was ninety nine. Wow. Ninety nine. Yeah, I'm pissed off. What you pissed off? I said that on New Year's. You, yeah, because her I'm birthday was on like the twelfth or something of January. Yeah, commercial break. No, her yeah. birthday was March twelfth. Everybody kept saying January. Yeah, I'm pissed off. You pissed off because you always. If make I make it to ninety nine, come on, Jesus, let me make it to hundred. <laughs> come on, Jesus, like don't do me like that, bro. I'm right there, cuz. I'm right there, God. Let me go and get that hundo before I get up out of here. Oh, Betty White. 
Find out I can die on my birthday. As long as I wake up. At, make if I, I could die at 12.02. <laughs> if I made it to the hundo, I'm good. Oh, God. Find out. Okay. So silly. Note to Jesus. 99. Yeah, if you let me live 99, don't, don't, don't kill me at 99. Just Some people me, don't want to live that long. Let me get that hundo. I mean, it's people, that long. it's people who ninety nine is still fun. If I'm still, if my body is still right, I want, uh, yeah, I want to be alive. Yeah, I want to be. Yeah, if I could still, yes, absolutely. I just pray. I'll be forgetting everything. I pray. I want to be alive. God I wanna, bless me with the memory. With the memory. Yes. Is yeah, you better drink? Uh, Modelo. <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh, you ain't advertising it. <laughs> That was a good one too. <laughs> All right, I ain't got nothing else, baby. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. Um, I don't know, man. I be feeling like I, I look. I don't know. What? I'm gonna talk about it more on Patreon, but I would be really having anxiety about like death. I think that's one of your biggest fears. Not yeah. death, but within itself. But but go ahead and finish your Not statement. having enough time to do what to I want to do in my yeah, life. I think that's I think that's one of your biggest fears. Yeah. I do. And then everything around me is seem like it's to slow me down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's a weird thing. It's, we're gonna get deep, man. Yeah. Cause I gotta get that out. You gotta get it out. Yeah, man. I'm gonna talk to some people about that, man, so I can motherfucking Hey, oh, never mind, I ain't gonna say that. I'm I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it uh what you call it up. What? A poll. I'm gonna put a poll up to see if we need to have NDAs for the, the live zooms that we do on Patreon. Right, because what I do on that on that um that Patreon because I want people I really business. want people to feel like they can be open <laughs> and I don't want people talking about other people's business outside yeah. of it. But you ain't gonna know if somebody do go, they can sue you. So yeah, that's a good thing. They can sue you if they so try you don't to tell the your internet. business. Yeah, you don't know the internet. Okay. Like people People are cruel, I know. People people start YouTube channels off of just dissing people. Exposed. Oh, car got repo. Nigga, car was in the shop getting painted. <laughs> You're like, fam, like, what, is you, what, like, like, what are you like? What are you doing? Get it from? <laughs> like, you spend your life How exposing you get people out of that. Jesus Christ! You must be a miserable person. Yeah, Call Take, myself. Yeah, I see. You must be a miserable person mm-hmm. to sit around and think negative things about, about other people's business. people all day. Hold up, first you think about it. Then you put something together. You got to get the <laughs> videos together and, and the, the, the footage together. Uh-huh. And then you make the video about it. Mm-hmm. And then you take the time to sit there and upload that shit. And talk about it. Boy, let me tell you something. You got a special place in hell. <laughs> it is fly, fried, died, and to, laid to the side. You going to hell with gasoline drawers on. Gasoline, and then it be lies. <laughs> Like what do you niggas like? What are you niggas doing uh, with your life? Nothing. Oh my god, man! But people look at it. Yes, people look. They at look it. at it for the views. Yes, like mm. they look at it because they just want they just want the drama. Yeah, they're like, ooh, that nigga was lying. I knew that nigga was lying. <laughs> I knew that nigga was balling too hard on YouTube. But it ain't my business for me to comment on though. Fam, I don't care how you getting yours. You getting yours. I, I want everybody to get theirs. Yes. That's you know what, I want to end it with just us blessing, um, or sending blessings, many many blessings to everybody in whatever they doing in their life, whatever uh, endeavors you have, uh, good health, everything. Like I just want to send blessings to everybody. Like I am always for everybody. Like blessings to everybody. Yeah, man. Uh, be happy, man. Yes. If being happy is just going down the street and fixing niggas' cars, you do that. <laughs> Real talk. If being happy is you talking about everybody else's business, you do that. <laughs> just don't be mad when you, you ain't get right. a, a bullet in your ass. Because <laughs> hey, I saw this woman at the gas station with that thing on her. Really? Whoo! She had that thing on her hip. Cause I was Ooh. like, God damn. I need to get me going. I can carry. So now you're going to shoot somebody. I will. That's, that's not okay. Get up off me. That's not okay. You saw that man uh, rob that woman? What? At the liquor store? At the, what liquor store? Baby, it was in North City. Oh, shit. For real? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about it. You get on my nerves. I mean, that little Negro. 
<laughs> that little nig- that little nigglet uh-huh. jumped about that car. Oh yeah, I saw him. Baby, he had a whole big old gun on that woman. Yeah, we posted that in our stories. Oh, on your oh okay, network. so that's why yeah. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> but why? But why you had to get that woman like that? That grandma would probably. That woman probably was terrified to her for her life. Man, look. My God, like, oh Jesus. Keep your head on the swivel. You better. Um, all single women, make sure you get everything you need to get done during the daytime. Yeah. Like, try not to go to no gas stations at night. No liquor stores at night. No grocery stores at night. If you could do it when you get off work, do it when you get off work. Because they not taking no prisoners. Yeah. They not. And if you got to go at night, ladies. I if might you gotta, just start carrying myself on me if I got to go somewhere at night. Especially if you're going solo bolo, but you got big dog. You tell that nigga, come on. Yeah, big dog going to take care of you. Yeah, boy. if you got, yeah, if you got uh, somebody that can go with you, <laughs> just make sure you, you take somebody with you, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody got to be safe out here, man. You know, he got a weapon hit somewhere. Who? Oh. Your son, I know. You probably told him to hide it. Hey man, look. <laughs> at the end of the day, we got to secure the fort around here. But uh, I should know. Just in case nigga want to try to run up in here, we got him. <laughs> I said, "What the hell is that?" Yeah, I'm gonna take him to the gun range. I'm gonna take all of them to the gun. That's what they said they wanted to go. Except KK, she KK ain't gonna want to shoot. Nah, she gonna be too little too. She thinks she hood, but she ain't. Yeah, we're gonna go family gun range. Okay. Yeah. I find them. They got their bullets are high. Bullets high. Mm-hmm. For who? Okay, you got it. <sighs> Come on, cuz I know the plug. Cause. All right, twenty twenty two. But uh, <laughs> what you need? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Um, you left with the the blessings. Okay. Blessings. Uh, stay prayed up, man. And if you're too gangster to pray, at least thank God. Bye, y'all. Peace. <laughs>